So ever since the Francophone countries in West Africa was decolonized by France, it's been in a steady state of integration and it will probably continue forever if certain tools are not really put in place. It is important to note that Africa as a continent and Africa as a people has always blamed new colonialism and colonialism as the main cause for their destitution. But in recent time, I can debatably say that that's not the case for Burkina Faso. But we can't debate anything without asking the first question. What the hell is happening to Burkina Faso? Ever since Burkina Faso allegedly got independent from France in 1960, the only time I knew Burkina Faso was heading for prosperity was during the time of Thomas Sankara. But like I explained in my previous video, he was assassinated by Blaise Campouri with the alleged blessing from France. Evidence also showed that France has more to gain from the retrogression of all francophone countries in West Africa. And with the blessings and backing from the French government, Blaise Campere ruled over Burkina Faso for more than 27 years with the sole intention to increase France's profit and influence in Burkina Faso and also that of francophone countries in the region. All these are now mere speculation as Blaise Campere reverted every policy set by his predecessor Thomas Ankara which was intended to reduce France's foothold in Burkina Faso. Well, having understood France's interests in Burkina Faso and francophone West Africa, we then realized that the French government don't really care who is in office. As long as their interest is being preserved, the country can rot in hell as far as France is concerned. But what then is happening to Burkina Faso? Well, according to various military junta that have been in office since 2014, the main need for the ousting of their previous governments is the insecurity situation in the country in which every government so far has failed woefully to address. Let me explain. Well, you see this guy, Blaise Campuri. He killed this dope guy, Thomas Sankara, in 1987. And they ended up staying in office for over 27 years without accomplishing any tangible thing. Instead, they energized the exploitation of Burkina Faso little resources by the French companies. After 27 years of economic stagnation, from 1987 to 2014, Blaise Campuri had the guts to try to change the constitution of the land in order for him to run for presidency for the rest of his life. Well, the Burkina Bay people were not having it as the country plunged into protests for weeks and weeks and weeks and Blaise Campore had no other choice than to flee the nation and went into Elza in Ivory Coast. After Blaise Campore went on exile in Côte d'Ivoire, this man, General Nasege Traoré, assumed the position of interim head of state for probably two days but stepped down and added power to Lieutenant Colonel Yakubu Isaac Zida. Yeah, this is that guy. And all this happened in November 2014. And few weeks later, probably based on pressures from ECOWAS and African Union, Zida had to step down for a civilian transitional government headed by Michael Kanfado to become transitional head of state as Zida had to assume the position of prime minister. All this still happening in the month of November 2014. What a bomb shot. After 10 months of the transitional government, on the 17th of September 2015, Michael Campado handed power to Rock Mark Christian Cambore. Yeah, this guy, the big headed guy. Well, it didn't just end there because on the 24th of January 2022, after seven years of being a democratically elected president, Christian Cambore, the big headed guy, was overthrown from office by this guy, Sandrago Damiba. Yeah, this low budget Thomas Ankara. According to Damiba, Kabo was ousted from office based on the sheer incompetency in handling the insecurity and the extremism in the northern part of the country. Well, as you all know, eight months later, on the 30th of September 2022, Tamiba was ousted from office from this melanin popping looking guy, yeah, this guy, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, for the same reason his predecessor gave to us eight months ago. What a joke! So what's the way forward? Well, we can't really say now because 
it's just been a month since the last coup and the country still remains where it is. There is actually no sign of hope or nothing drastically about to change. And if I'm to predict, there is nothing that is going to possibly change. Except the country comes together and try as much as possible to move forward as a whole or as a people. Like I don't really mean to be rude, I'm just saying the truth. Like I see them being very very happy and being optimistic about the future, holding the Russian flag. As if there is a difference between the Russian government and the French or the French government. There is actually none. There is no difference. Like I would like to leave this video with a quote from Thomas Sankara, where he said, and I quote, A slave alone is responsible for his own misfortune if he harbors the illusion of the generosity of his master to set him free. Nobody can set Burkina Faso free. Not the French, not the Gaussian, not the Captain Ibrahim Traoré, not Thomas Sankara, but the Burkina Faso people themselves. Well, guys, thank you for sticking with me to this end of this video. I really appreciate it. I really thank you. Um, please like this video. Please like it. It's a new channel. Please like this video. Like it now. Just pause this video and like it now. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. See you in the next video.